Hey everybody, it's me, and let's talk about our feline friends. We love our cats, right? Of course we do. They're part of the family, but sometimes, without even realizing it, we might be doing things that hurt their feelings. You might be thinking, what? My cat doesn't have feelings like that. Oh, but they do. Cats are sensitive creatures and they pick up on more than we think. So let me ask you this. Are you accidentally hurting your cat's feelings? Let's dive into the first thing that might be hurting your cat's feelings, being ignored. Now I know what you're thinking. Cats are independent creatures. They love their alone time. And you're right, they do cherish their independence. But that doesn't mean they wanna be completely ignored. Think of it this way. You wouldn't ignore your best friend for hours on end, would you? Cats thrive on connection, just like we do. They need that interaction, that affection, to feel secure and loved. When you ignore your cat, especially for long periods, it can leave them feeling neglected and unimportant. Imagine yourself in their paws for a moment. You try to get their attention, maybe rub against their legs or meow softly, but they're glued to their phone, lost in their computer screen, or engrossed in a conversation. You're there, present, wanting to connect, but it's like you're invisible. Cats crave our attention, even if it's just for a few minutes throughout the day. A gentle stroke, a playful ear scratch, a little conversation. These small gestures speak volumes to your cat. They say, I see you. I value you. You're important to me. Don't underestimate the power of these simple acts of love. They can make all the difference in your cat's emotional well-being. Remember, cats are masters at reading body language. They pick up on our moods, our energy, and our attention, or lack thereof. When you consistently ignore your cat, they sense that disconnect, and it can leave them feeling confused, anxious, and even a little depressed. They might start to question their place in your life, wondering why the once warm and inviting lap is now off limits. Now I'm not saying you need to be at your cat's beck and call 24 seven. We all have lives, jobs, and responsibilities, but carving out even just a few minutes each day for some quality time with your feline friend can work wonders for their emotional health. So put down the phone, step away from the screen, and give your cat some genuine attention. Play a quick game with their favorite toy, brush their fur, or simply sit with them and enjoy their company. You'll be amazed at how such small acts of love can strengthen your bond and bring a spark of joy to your cat's eyes. Let's talk about something that can really stress out our feline friend's loud noises. We've all been there. The sudden bang of a door, the deafening roar of the vacuum cleaner, a hairdryer blasting at full power. These sounds might be commonplace to us, but to our sensitive cats, they can be terrifying. Cats have incredibly acute hearing. Their hearing is far superior to ours, detecting a wider range of frequencies. What sounds normal to us can be amplified tenfold in their ears. Imagine being bombarded by a sound so loud it makes your ears ring and your heart race. That's what it's like for a cat experiencing a sudden loud noise. Their first instinct is to seek safety, to find a quiet, secure spot. This is why you often see cats bolting under the bed or hiding in closets. They're responding to a primal instinct to protect themselves. Repeated exposure to loud noises can impact a cat's emotional well-being. It can lead to chronic stress, anxiety, and fear-based behaviors. So what can we do to create a more peaceful environment for our feline friends? Awareness is key. Start by identifying the noise triggers in your home. If possible, confine your cat to a quiet room, away from the noise. Provide them with a cozy bed, some toys, and maybe a pheromone diffuser to create a calming atmosphere. For loud appliances, try to desensitize your cat to the sound gradually. Start by introducing them to the appliance while it's off, allowing them to sniff it. Then, turn it on for a few seconds at a time, gradually increasing the duration as your cat becomes more comfortable. Now let's discuss the importance of vertical space for our feline friends. Cats are natural climbers and love to observe their surroundings from a high vantage point. This behavior stems from their wild ancestors, who would climb trees to stay safe from predators and to survey their territory. Without adequate vertical space, cats can become bored, stressed, and even develop behavioral issues. Imagine being confined to a single level in your home with no ability to explore or retreat to a high safe spot. It can be quite frustrating for our feline companions. To create a more enriching environment, consider adding cat trees, shelves, or perches. These vertical spaces not only provide exercise, but also give cats a sense of security and ownership over their territory. By offering multiple levels and hiding spots, 
you can significantly improve your cat's well-being and reduce stress. In summary, providing vertical space is a simple yet effective way to cater to your cat's natural instincts and ensure a happier, healthier life. So take a look around your home and see where you can add some climbing opportunities for your furry friend. Another critical aspect of feline care that often gets overlooked is mental stimulation. Just like humans, cats need mental engagement to stay happy and healthy. Without it, they can become bored, stressed, and even develop behavioral issues. Imagine being stuck in a room with nothing to do all day. It would get pretty dull, wouldn't it? For cats, mental stimulation can come in many forms. Interactive toys, puzzle feeders, and even simple games like hide and seek can provide the mental exercise they need. Cats are natural hunters, so activities that mimic hunting behaviors can be particularly engaging for them. Laser pointers, feather wands, and even a crumpled piece of paper can provide hours of entertainment. But mental stimulation isn't just about toys and games. It also involves spending quality time with your cat. Petting, talking, and simply being present can make a big difference in their emotional well-being. Providing a variety of stimuli, such as different textures, smells, and sounds, can also keep your cat's mind sharp and engaged. In summary, mental stimulation is an essential part of your cat's overall well-being. By providing a range of engaging activities and spending quality time with your feline friend, you can help prevent boredom, reduce stress, and promote a happier, healthier life. So take a moment to think about how you can add some mental enrichment to your cat's daily routine. Lack of social interaction. Cats may be independent creatures, but they still need social interaction to thrive. Contrary to popular belief, cats are social animals and can form strong bonds with their human companions. Imagine living in a house where no one talks to you, no one acknowledges your presence, and you're left to your own devices day in and day out. It's not a pleasant thought, is it? For cats, this lack of social interaction can lead to feelings of loneliness, anxiety, and even depression. Cats communicate through a variety of behaviors, from purring and meowing to headbutting and kneading. These actions are their way of seeking attention and affection from us. Ignoring these social cues can make your cat feel neglected and unloved. Spending quality time with your cat, whether it's through petting, playing, or simply sitting together, can make a world of difference in their emotional well-being. It's also important to remember that social interaction isn't just about physical presence. Talking to your cat, even if they don't understand the words, can be incredibly soothing for them. Your voice provides comfort and reassurance, making them feel safe and secure. Additionally, introducing your cat to other friendly pets or arranging playdates with other cats can also provide valuable social stimulation. In summary, social interaction is a crucial component of your cat's overall happiness and health. By making an effort to spend quality time with your feline friend and acknowledging their social cues, you can help them lead a more fulfilling and contented life. So take a moment each day to connect with your cat. Your attention and affection are invaluable to them. Lack of enrichment toys. Just like humans, cats need mental and physical stimulation to stay healthy and happy. While they might not have a job to go to or hobbies to pursue, they do have a natural instinct to hunt, play, and explore. Without appropriate outlets for these instincts, cats can become bored, anxious, and even destructive. Imagine being stuck in a room with nothing to do, day after day. No books, no TV, no games, nothing to engage your mind or body. It would drive anyone a little stir-crazy, right? The same goes for our feline friends. They need enrichment toys to keep their minds sharp and bodies active. Interactive toys, puzzle feeders, and scratching posts are just a few examples of enrichment tools that can make a significant difference in your cat's life. These toys mimic the hunting and foraging activities that cats would naturally engage in, providing both mental and physical exercise. For instance, a puzzle feeder challenges your cat to think and work for their food, making mealtime more engaging and rewarding. Wand toys and laser pointers can satisfy their hunting instincts, allowing them to chase and pounce in a controlled environment. Scratching posts not only help keep their claws healthy, but also provide a way for them to mark their territory and stretch their muscles. Neglecting to provide these forms of enrichment can lead to a range of behavioral issues, from excessive meowing and scratching to more serious problems like anxiety and aggression. By incorporating a variety of toys and activities into your cat's daily routine, you can help them stay mentally and physically fit. In summary, enrichment toys are not just optional extras, they are essential for your cat's well-being. By investing in a range of stimulating toys and activities, 
you can ensure your cat leads a happy, healthy, and fulfilled life. So take the time to explore different types of enrichment and see which ones your cat enjoys the most. Their playful, curious nature will thank you for it. Inconsistent feeding times. Cats are creatures of habit. They thrive on routine and that includes their feeding schedule. While it might seem like a small thing to us, inconsistent feeding times can actually be a source of stress and anxiety for our feline companions. Think about it. You wouldn't like it if your meals were served at random times throughout the day, would you? It's the same for our cats. When cats know when to expect their meals, it provides them with a sense of security and predictability. They learn to associate certain times of day with food and their bodies adjust accordingly. Their digestive systems get into a rhythm, they know when to expect their next meal, and it helps regulate their energy levels throughout the day. Inconsistent feeding times, on the other hand, disrupt this natural rhythm. Cats might start to feel anxious and insecure, wondering when their next meal will arrive. This can lead to begging, meowing excessively, or even trying to scavenge for food. Imagine yourself in their paws. Your stomach is rumbling, you're used to eating at a certain time, but the food bowl remains empty. You meow, you pace, you try to get your human's attention, but to no avail. The uncertainty can be incredibly frustrating and stressful for a cat. Now, I understand that life happens. We have busy schedules, unexpected events pop up, and sometimes our best laid plans go awry. But when it comes to feeding our cats, consistency is key. Try to establish a regular feeding schedule and stick to it as closely as possible. Whether it's twice a day, three times a day, or even free feeding, if that's what works best for your cat and their lifestyle. The key is to create a predictable routine. Cats thrive on routine and a consistent feeding schedule is a simple yet powerful way to provide them with a sense of security and well-being. Lack of playtime. Cats are natural born hunters. It's in their DNA. Even though our domesticated felines no longer need to hunt for their survival, that instinctual drive to stalk, chase, and pounce is still very much alive within them. Playtime is not just about having fun, it's about fulfilling those primal instincts in a safe and stimulating way. When cats don't get enough playtime, that pent-up energy has to go somewhere, and often it manifests in less than desirable behaviors. You might notice your cat becoming more destructive, scratching furniture, knocking things over, or even getting into mischief around the house. They're not trying to be naughty. They're simply trying to find an outlet for their natural instincts. Regular playtime provides numerous benefits for cats, both physically and mentally. It helps them stay active, maintain a healthy weight, and keeps their hunting skills sharp. But perhaps even more importantly, playtime provides essential mental stimulation, keeping their minds engaged and preventing boredom. Think of playtime as a way to tap into your cat's inner hunter. Provide them with toys that mimic the movements of prey, such as feather wands, toy mice, or even crumpled up pieces of paper. Move the toys in unpredictable ways, encouraging your cat to stalk, chase, and pounce. The key is to make the playtime interactive and engaging. Don't just hand your cat a toy and walk away. Get involved. Move the toy around, hide it behind objects, and let your cat catch it every now and then to satisfy their hunting instincts. Even just 10 to 15 minutes of dedicated playtime each day can make a world of difference in your cat's overall well-being. You'll be amazed at how much energy they can release in such a short amount of time, and you'll strengthen your bond in the process. Unclean litter box. Let's face it, nobody likes a dirty bathroom, and that includes our feline friends. Cats are incredibly clean animals by nature. They groom themselves meticulously, and they prefer their living spaces, including their litter boxes, to be equally tidy. An unclean litter box can be a major source of stress for a cat, leading to behavioral issues and even potential health problems. Imagine yourself having to use a bathroom that hasn't been cleaned in days. The unpleasant odor, the unsanitary conditions, it wouldn't exactly be a pleasant experience, would it? Cats feel the same way about a dirty litter box. When a litter box isn't scooped regularly or the litter isn't changed frequently enough, the buildup of ammonia and bacteria can create a strong pungent odor that is highly offensive to a cat's sensitive nose. They might start to avoid using the litter box altogether, seeking out alternative and often inappropriate places to relieve themselves, such as on the carpet, furniture, or even in the bathtub. Beyond the unpleasant odor, an unclean litter box can also pose health risks to your cat. The ammonia in cat urine can irritate their respiratory system, and the bacteria can lead to urinary tract infections and other health problems. 
Keeping your cat's litter box clean is essential for their physical and emotional well-being. Scoop the litter box at least once a day, removing solid waste and clumps of urine. Completely empty and wash the litter box with a mild unscented detergent at least once a week, or more often if necessary. Choose a litter that your cat prefers, and that is low dusting to minimize respiratory irritation. And remember, the placement of the litter box matters too. Choose a quiet, easily accessible location away from their food and water bowls. So there you have it, nine everyday things that might be hurting your cat's feelings. Remember, our feline friends are sensitive creatures who thrive on routine, attention, and a clean, comfortable environment. By being mindful of their needs and making a few simple adjustments, we can create a happier, healthier, and more harmonious home for both our cats and ourselves. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe for more tips on understanding and caring for our feline companions. Until next time, keep those tails twitching and those purrs rumbling.